I would suggest that you don't criticize the onesie. After doing that huge rant that I did the other day, I thought I would talk about other things revolving around not anything around that, but I'm wearing a onesie. The lighting's just as bad, but my room's a little bit cleaner, as you can tell by the fact that my wall is now empty. I made a mistake. No, because everything's just all over here now and you can't see it. But anyway, so now we're going to talk about, uh, you know, going to stores and that type of shit. Which is going to be so much fun. Aren't you ready? Aren't you excited? I ah, yeah, let's do it. A very interesting thing about going to stores is that there's always the people there that want to help you and they follow you. If you're doing some type of drug, that will freak the shit out of you. And I do not suggest going to a store driving or doing anything else because why are you doing drugs? But anyway, there's always those people that try and help you. And with my overwhelming worst sense of anxiety that I have, I feel like I want them to leave me alone because they're gonna point out every single flaw I have. Like, they'll be there and they'll be like this. In Walmart, how can I help you? Do you need shampoo, shampoo in the third aisle? Do you need makeup, makeup in that aisle? How about over there? And then you just come back here. And then you're standing next to them. I'm like, do they think? Then I need makeup. They know, they just, they're pointing out all my imperfections and I know that they're judging me silently because it's just their job and they'll get paid money just to point me in the right direction of the things that I don't need. It's probably just me with this thing, but the anxiety of that kills me. But now we're gonna get into the biggest problem. Hmm. We're gonna start with the people in the store. The people in the store are absolutely ridiculous uh, because I wore a beanie, is this my beanie? Yeah. So I wore a beanie one day going to like fucking like Target or some shit and I'll act out what happened. I will be wearing the beanie and the person in the store will be wearing the hood. My mom, I got all the things we need. I found what we needed, right? I get the death stare if I go to a store. Like I can go to like fucking Petco and someone's trying to buy like beetles for like their bearded dragon. That's a weird pet in itself. I mean, I have fucking rodents, but, you know, and then they look at me, it's like, I'm standing there, I'm wearing my boy t-shirt, and shit like that, because I don't like female shit, and, uh, they just stare at me, they're just like, let me see how long I can stare at you guys, with you guys, just, think about this, let's put this in a scenario, I'm gonna be a person, that is going to see you. And let's say that you have a horrible crippling anxiety where it's difficult for you to upload videos and also to go out in public and go to school. So let's just pretend that that's you for a second. Or <laughs> you can just play me. I do a pretty good job at playing myself. I know I'm pretty great at it. <laughs> Didn't have to tell me. But you're gonna play that type of person and then I'm gonna be someone, just a random bystander, shopping for like condoms anyway so I'll be that person shopping for stuff and you'll be the one with the horrible crippling anxiety okay so now let me just play it like this let's just pretend that you're walking in a store and I sort of walk past you here's what's gonna happen you suck you suck you suck you suck. okay I don't look my age I look like I'm 10 but stop it. I get it, okay? I'm buying all this shit that I shouldn't have. Like, I scared a lady in Walmart the other day. <laughs> I was just getting shit, and then all of a sudden I just, like, yelled for some reason. Yeah, I know, it's not very acting my own age to yell in the middle of my- I was shopping with my mom. Of course I'm gonna do that. Fuck everyone else. Um, and I just yelled something out loud, and this lady walked past me, and it went something like this. <laughs> Holy fuck. those nature documentaries with like the meerkats 
and then they always have those eyes where they're like that's what it's always like for me I feel like everyone's staring at me and judging me and it's very difficult to go places also significantly out during this video I've been slowly taking off my onesie and I don't know why Spend like a day thinking about how everyone's gonna judge you and then you're gonna live my life. Like go to a store, be like, she's not wearing a dress and that's what girls are supposed to, where's her pink? Why does she want to get out of the girls aisle so fast? Like that's where she belongs. Why is she not in the kitchen aisle and in the dirt bike section? What the fuck is she doing? And uh, just some best advice if you have anxiety of any kind is you see those people who are going to judge you for those things and you think that they're judging you? Think about this for a second. Fuck them. They, no one has the right to judge another person. This is getting more deep than my last ranting video, but I wanted to throw a Wednesday party so that's what I'm going to do, bitch. So remember next time someone gives you meerkat eyes while you're in a store, just, you know, meerkat them back. Just like stand up on your hind legs and go. And then they'll walk away and you can laugh your ass off at them for giving you those eyes. Here's a quick demonstration. You got all the shit. Soon, everyone in your world will be a meerkat. And that is how pumpkins are grown. Guys, like today's video it was sort of long slash short slash I don't even know if you want to buy this onesie it's a Totoro onesie you can buy it on Amazon no special like discount or any shit just if you want it if you like it I don't know you can get it on Amazon it's Totoro so yeah and uh, if you uh, use my meerkat tactic I would just love to see a picture just send it to me because I really want to see you meerkatting someone. That's what we're going to call it, meerkatting a person. Please do that. Uh, if you want to send me a picture or you just want to talk to me or stalk me, my Instagram is below. And if you don't, I don't care. So you do that. Uh, you can like and subscribe or comment because I don't really give a damn. Remember to always be a meerkat, and if you can't be a meerkat, try to be a meerkat. Goodbye. The best part about making videos in a onesie is that you're wearing all of your clothes underneath. Because the real thing we should think about here is how many people are going to send me pictures them wearing, no, them meerkatting someone. Also wearing a onesie, why not? Why the fuck not?